At a spring festival organised by the Seoul city government, an organisation dedicated to suicide prevention spreads its message of hope. It's one directed especially at the young, in a society where suicide accounts for a third of all teenage deaths. I think the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic has a lot to do with it. Teenagers are very sensitive to changes in society and are likely to be the first victims. The issue has been given global attention with the suspected suicide of K-pop stars like Moonbin, who died last month at the age of 25. The extreme pressures of working in the entertainment industry have long been identified, but so too have expectations to succeed in education and employment in this hyper-competitive society. In Eastern culture, mental problems are often attributed to personal issues resulting from weak willpower, rather than being recognised as disease. As a result, people who are suffering often avoid discussing their issues and seeking help. In one of the world's most tech-savvy countries, there's a growing focus on the role of social media in South Korea's high suicide rate. A recent government report found the number of online postings related to suicide in one year totaled nearly a quarter of a million. That's a sevenfold increase in five years. It's one of the issues the government intends to tackle in plans to reduce the suicide rate by a third in the next five years. We will monitor information that induces suicide, such as recruiting suicide partners and sharing explicit suicide methods 24 hours a day. To this end, we plan to establish a monitoring centre and increase dedicated personnel. Technology is also playing its part on the many bridges that span the Han River in Seoul, from where more than one person a day on average tries to commit suicide. Artificial intelligence now assists a dedicated team which monitors cameras looking for people who may be planning to jump in the hope of intervening before they add to the country's suicide toll. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.